coming up in this read. To end this cycle is to stand up and say, right, I'm done. Enough is enough. I am not continuing this anymore. Libra, let's get into your May reading. Any information that you need, you can find it in my description box and in my pinned comment below. If you're cross-watching for a Libra, then please switch over the roles because I could be speaking directly to you. And please do keep in mind that this is a general reading, which means it's not going to resonate for absolutely everybody. You just take what's resonating specifically for you and you leave what doesn't for another Libra or cross watcher okay please also do respect the tarot and approach it with patience and open mind and without expectations and finally if you don't want to miss a video then subscribe and stay notified okay so libra i'm pulling the strongest energy for you to get the foundation for the rest of your read um i'm pulling it because it's not a very nice deck to work with uh because the card stock is just too thick and yeah, it's it's not very nice to handle. So that that's why I took the cards the way that I did, just in case anyone who's a regular is like, hey, what, what, why are you doing it that way? Um, yeah, that's why. Okay, um, interesting energy this one, Libra. Connection. I I think you have had this one out. Oh, the last time I used this deck on your read. Um, I'm pretty certain that I have seen this in your read before, this exact card. Um, and I do believe that when I used it, it was the at the end of a read rather than at the start. Um, it, it's funny that we should be seeing that again. So I'm going to approach this one first, right? Connection, universal oneness, love, interconnection and support. Now, I'm getting the same message that, that we received the last time we saw this in, in, in your read, okay? And it was about um, certain behaviours, traits and habits being passed down the line, okay? So it's like, say, say we've got this person here and, and let's just say that's an alcoholic and they pass that trait on down the line onto their kids. One of their kids becomes an alcoholic and then thus the cycle continues, okay? So this is very much at the forefront for, for some of you, um, that this awareness, should we say, of certain things being passed down the line, certain cycles just repeating over and over, um, that there's an awareness of this. You're very much uh, conscious of what you're doing so that you don't pass anything like that down the line. Um, it's very noble. I'm getting a really noble vibe off of this. So you have found yourself um, making, I want to say making certain sacrifices to ensure that certain things are not continued down the line. It, it's also an awareness that we're all connected, okay? We're all part of the universe, uh, that there's divine in each and every single one of us. Um, and, and that includes individuals that you don't necessarily get along with as well. So that there's um, like a, I wanna say like a certain level of respect uh, that that you that you have towards your fellow human beings, um, and then it's come out with self-expression, vocalization, individuality, inner voice, and assertiveness. Um, you could be dealing with a Cancerian. You could have Cancer placements in your own chart. They had this that came through very loud in, in their read. I mean, it was super. Uh, it was almost obnoxious um, how loud that particular energy was in, in their read. Um, it's here in your read, but it's not so much to the forefront of everything because it's more about this for you that's at the forefront of everything. You might not have spoken up on the things that, that you have had to uh, sacrifice, on the things that you've had to 
a fight, if you will. I, I'm, I'm not finding a better word for it right now. Um, but but when you think about like how much strength it takes to ensure that certain bad cycles don't repeat, that that really does uh, take take a lot out of somebody. And again, <clears throat> you you might not have felt the urge to discuss those things in the past, but it, it's definitely now something that you're considering. And it feels like someone in particular that, that you want to have a conversation with that pertains specifically to breaking breaking those cycles. Um, it's finding finding common ground with someone else. That that's what I'm feeling for this particular combination. It's finding that common ground, having that conversation, and basically ensuring that um, something isn't repeating. Okay, so I'm going to start pulling your tarot, and we'll find out what's coming in towards you for the month of May. Um, <clears throat> the zodiac information, as always, use your discernment, okay, because they could be placements in your chart, someone else's chart, they could be character traits of somebody as well. So take it as it resonates, okay. It's coming in towards Libra, please. Okay. Ah. Oh, <laughs> that's a bizarre way of flipping, but yeah, we'll take it. It, it was kind of, it, it was a bit undecided though, isn't it? Right, so you've got the Ten of Cups, it's Pisces. You have the Tower, that's... Um, Aries or Scorpio, you have the Wheel of Fortune, as Sagittarius. The Eight of Cups is more Pisces. Judgment, that's more Scorpio. Let's come in towards Libra, please. The Eight of Wands, Sagittarius, the Queen of Coins, Capricorn, the Three of Wands in Reverse, it's Aries, the Three of Coins in Reverse, um, it's Capricorn, and then the Sun in Reverse, strange. And the energy at the bottom of the deck is Death, uh, the Sun is Leo, Death is uh, Scorpion, and you've got the Fool underneath that one, that's Aquarius, and then the Hermit, Virgo. Okay, with, with the Knight of Cups. Um, right, this, this is a confusing energy, really, really confusing, because look, it, it, you've got a contradiction here, Libra. You've got a contradiction. Now, obviously, it can also indicate the cycles, but it feels more like a contradiction because as we always say, as one door closes, another one opens. As one cycle comes to an end, another one begins. Okay, It's that natural cycle of things that the wheel keeps turning. Uh, one day you'll find yourself at the top of the wheel, the next day you'll find yourself at the bottom of the wheel. Again, it's circular. Okay, uh, Everything follows that pattern of endings and beginnings. Right? You've got ending and beginnings granted yes that also feels like a contradiction though it feels like there's a bit of a tug of war going on but i'm getting confused because i can't figure out if that tug of war is happening within you and it could well be the case because you do have the hermit here which is all about the the whole process of introspection um it it uh, it, it's difficult to put words to because it feels like um, I've opened up someone's private diary a wee bit, 
you know and it, it's like um, it is difficult it's difficult because something either has ended or is ending but you don't actually want it to with the knight of cups being there And tell me why why is death here please why is death here for libra please clarify death please for libra thank you okay and can you clarify the fool please thank you yeah again it, it's that push and pill so the fool's clarified with the three of wands and the tower You've got the tower here as well. And then the death is clarified with the seven of coins, which is patience. That's definitely a contradiction. Absolutely. And then we've got all of these reversals here as well. Um... It's a really complicated situation, Libra, and it's complicated mostly because you don't actually know what it is that you want out of this specific situation that this energy is resonating for you about. Okay, obviously, I don't know the context of what it is that's going on here. All I can do is try and feel out what's, like what is going on. There's an element of you feeling like the amount of control that you have in a situation is very, very limited. And it feels like you've been almost forced in a lot of ways to sort of focus on something different, focus in a different direction. So there, there's something that, that needs to uh, be resolved with this tower that hasn't yet been resolved so perhaps you not getting closure with something is what's adding to that sort of conf that confusion of not not fully understanding at the moment exactly what it is that you want but you definitely know that things cannot continue the way that they currently are i feel i feel strongly that this is an issue of closure something is over you 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 don't really want it to be but you don't really know how to rectify the situation either you know or that could be someone else's energy towards you libra because it is a general read that the energy could go either way with this Okay, the card that's central to you read is judgment and that can indicate someone coming back round, someone from your past or something from your past coming back round. It can in certain situations, so depending on what else is next to it, like the, the meaning will change again. It usually is about your higher self, trusting in your best judgment, listening to your higher self. I feel that this is more getting at something or someone from your past coming back round again because it's come out with the eight of cups which is all about giving up on a situation walking away from a situation and then the eight of wands action communication messages it's like you you don't want to be left in someone's past or someone doesn't want to be left in your past. I'm not feeling that it's necessarily romantic. It could be for some of you. It absolutely could be. But I feel that there's something else to this that I'm not quite able to pull out yet. Oh, okay, you've got the page of swords at the bottom of the deck. So... Either you're observing whoever this individual is or they're observing you. Okay. Oh. 
Wow, okay. The Seven of Swords with the Eight of Wands and the Two of Swords. So there is something to do with the lie. Did somebody lie to you? Something about the communication that you received pertaining to an individual was a lie. Someone specifically lied either to you or about you to change your uh, to change your perception about somebody. That's shit stirring. That particular combination is a shit stirrer. Without a doubt. And now you're trying to grapple with your own intuition, trying to figure out, well, well, what's the truth? What's what's the lie? What, what's actually going on here? What's the content of this Eight of Wands, please, for Libra? Justice. That's your major arcana. So this is someone coming in towards you specifically. With that being your major arcana, you're going to be in receipt of some kind of um, messages. It could be from this individual. It could be from someone connected to that individual. Thank you. Page of Cups off balance. Okay. Um, it's not indicating that you're going to receive an apology because that did come out off balance. So don't put your healing process on pause while waiting for an apology that might never come. Would that be an off balance? The Ten of Cups, the Tower and the Wheel of Fortune. Again, it's like, like something had to end here. Something pertaining to your Ten of Cups wasn't real. It wasn't real. That That's why that tower kicked in and, and took everything away. Something wasn't real. It could well be that somebody... Um, that normally happens when someone is living a lie, when, when they know that something's wrong, but they choose to ignore it in the hope that it'll just go away. And it never went away. It never went away. That That's why you've got the tower with the Wheel of Fortune. It, it's like, yeah, that this tower at this point in time was inevitable. It was going to happen. It was always on the cards because somebody was not acknowledging that something wasn't real. Tell me about that tower, please. The Three of Cups. Okay. What else for that tower? The King of Cups. You have one more. Thank you. And the Hanged Man off balance. Okay. Um, I'm sure we've seen that in your read as well before. The Hanged Man off balance is someone who's got like a victim mentality. Um, is, is a frustrating energy because it's like Libra. You're trying, you're trying to get someone else to see something from your point of view and it's not gonna work that's why it's so bloody frustrating it's just not gonna work tell me about the wheel of fortune thank you the devil i said it wasn't gonna work didn't i it, it's confirming with that devil energy, it's just confirming. And the Eight of Cups as well. I'm feeling that this is pertaining to you. Um, trying, trying to make someone happy. And it's like no matter what you try they're never going to be happy but then you don't want it to be over you don't want something to be over but you know that you're never going to fully make them happy because the reality is they're just not a happy person by nature they're, they're just never going to be content 
nothing is ever going to please them. Nothing's ever going to be good enough for them. They're forever going to be bound to this uh, attitude of it's your job to make me happy. It's your job to ensure that I've got what I need. And that that's bullshit because it's not your job at all. The Queen of Coins with the Three of Wands in reverse. That's that's restrictions. Someone someone is restricting something to do with um, planning for the future. Hmm. Turn about that Three of Wands reversed, please. This future delays. I know that much. The Six of Wands in reverse. Again, I feel, I feel that this is you trying to make someone happy in whatever context. Could, could be a lover, it could be an ex-lover, it could be someone, you know, that you break up one week, you're back together again, the next week you break up again, and the week after that. It could be someone at work, like, literally. This could be anything at this point in time, but the base, like the, the main reading that I'm pulling through here is it doesn't matter what you sacrifice, what you give up, what you say, what you do, what you try to change, it makes no difference. This is someone who will never, ever be happy. They will never be content. And you'll never be able to plan for your future while that individual is in your sphere of influence. Got the Nine of Swords under there. It's stressful dealing with them. The Three of Coins in reverse pertains to a one-sided situation where one individual's putting in all of the work and the other one's getting all of the benefit from someone else's hard work. That, that's not partnership, it's not teamwork, it's not collaboration. And then the sun in reverse. <clears throat> the sun in reverse again can, can indicate someone lying. It absolutely can. That in upright is a card of victory. When it's in reverse, it's like, look, something isn't right with this situation. Something is going to go horrifically wrong if someone does not acknowledge that the only way to, to end this cycle is to stand up and say, right, I'm done. Enough is enough. I am not continuing this anymore. I'm talking about the sun in reverse, please. Thank you. The Ace of Cups that's come out off balance. Is this love? Is this love? Is this what real love looks like? What about the love for yourself? Are you not worth more than this? I'd say you're worth more than this. Why, why wait around for someone who doesn't respect you, who doesn't give back in return? Why are you so confused about a one-sided situation? You are worth it. You are lovable. This individual, whoever this is that you're dealing with, seems to think that they can just do what the hell that they like and that's just the way it's going to be. You, you know that that's wrong. You know it. You can feel it. You can feel there's something iffy about this situation. You know it. What else does Libra need to know about this energy, please? The Nine of Cups. Yes, you do deserve to be happy. Like, literally. It, the, the messages are just echoing at this point. You do deserve to be happy. You do deserve to have your dreams come true. What? Yeah, what about your dreams? Exactly. Exactly. What else does Libra need to know about this, please? What a strange message. 
What else does Libra need to know about this, please? Oh, okay, thank you. Ah, bugger, there it is again. Oh, yeah, look. The King of Coins, that's basically come out in reverse. So again, someone someone being really, really selfish and expecting... Uh, how, how do I best describe a King of Coins in reverse? Um, it's someone who is incredibly materialistic, really, really greedy. They believe that everything should be handed to them on a golden platter. They don't think that they should have to work for anything. You know, they just expect everything to be given to them. And what they do get, they do not share with everybody else. Not, not in reverse. No, no. No, they don't. And then you've got the Nine of Swords, the Seven of Swords, and the Three of Swords as well. That's what else you need to know about this situation. This King of Coins energy in reverse, <clears throat> that's someone who's a liar. If they've told you that they cannot pay their fair share towards something, they're fucking lying to you, Libra. They're lying to you. They can pay their fair share. They choose not to. There you go. There you go. Four of coins under there. Now look at that card and you tell me that that's not a selfish individual. I got my mind on my money and my money on my mind and I ain't sharing it with anybody. That's known as a miser. And it's right next to that Three of Swords. All you're wanting is someone who is going to treat you fairly. Treat you like an equal. There's nothing wrong with that. And that you deserve someone to treat you equally and fairly. Everybody does. The Eight of Coins and the Five of Cups. There you go again. Questioning yourself. Am I doing the right thing? Am I being paranoid? Am I imagining this individual's behaviour, this selfishness, this... I need to come out of this. I tell you, that that's bad. That That's pretty bad. Um, I was, I, I was really hoping that we were going to get a nice read for you because I, I did Virgo's read uh, an hour ago and that was a doozy. Oh, my days, was that a doozy. And now, now we're getting this in your read as well. Oh, Libra. Stop letting people take advantage of you, for goodness sake. Okay. Do you have a healing message, please, for Libra Collective? <laughs> relief and then under there inspiration so yes you will be uh, finding your inspiration to come out of this really really cold difficult situation uh, see what that will I'm getting the impression, Libra, that um, that's either about spiritual protection, you being spiritually guided and protected, but I also feel that there's someone in, in the physical who is protecting you and who has already voiced their opinion about the dodgy behaviours of someone else. It's almost like they could see it coming type thing, okay? And then you've got number 22. Oh, that's interesting. You've got synchronistic numbers here. You've got 11 and 22. So you could be seeing a lot of 111 and 222. So you might want to look up those particular angel numbers, okay, and, and find the additional message for you. Um, right, let's have a look. Number 22. relief um it's uh, yeah you've been carrying a heavy load for too long the overwhelming sense of responsibility has grown all out of proportion proportion to the reality of the situation 
Relief is at hand. All you have to do is reach out and grasp it. But in order to do that, you must release what you're clutching. Let it go. You do not need to carry it anymore. And then it's got a positive affirmation. I have carried the burden for long enough. It is time to let go. I release the burden to the divine and accept the relief that comes as I let go and I let myself rest. And it's suggesting that the stone rhodonite, R-H-O-N-D-O-N-I-T-E, rhodonite, aids in restoration and recovery. So yeah, you've been... You, like I clocked it right from the get-go about this being a one-sided situation. And again, for some of you, it could well be taking place in a workplace as well. That's always possible. Not all the reads are about love and, and romance and all the rest. Um, you know, someone is expecting you to carry all of the weight, do way more than your fair share. And it, it, it's like, no, you can't do that anymore, Libra. Not, not when it's stopping you from, from doing the things that, that you're needing to be doing. Like, what part of that is fair? If this is about a, a, a relationship, then it's like, you love them. You do love them. And that's why it's difficult for you to release them. Because even in spite of everything that they have done to you, and for some of you are continuing to do to you, you still love them. But again, it's like that that love, with that coming out off balance, that love is one-sided as well. This is the energy of an individual who might say that, that they're in love. What they actually mean is, I love what you do for me. Going by this horrific story that, that we're getting out in this read. Uh, I, uh, I don't even know. I think I've spent all my temper on the Virgo read, to be honest with you, Libra. It, it just, it, it beggars belief the, the way that some folks will justify how they treat others. It, it really just blows my mind. Okay. Healing message. Today I dare to do something differently. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Couldn't have said it better myself. And then at the bottom of the deck, the universe is always helping me, sometimes in unexpected ways. Okay. So yes, you, you are being divinely guided and protected. You really should trust it. And trust yourself as well. Trust yourself that, that you will be able to release this situation or this individual. Oh, it's random. Can we have a jump in one, please, for Libra? Thank you. <laughs> okay. Zen as fuck. Chakras loaded and ready. So that's all about finding your inner peace. Peace, love and yoga pants. Oh, and fuzzy slippers. So, um... You, you don't have to take that. That's a message about not taking spirituality so seriously. Uh, you define what spirituality is for you. Okay. <laughs> Visualize world peace. Peace. It starts with releasing the bullshit. Yay. Blessed AF. What's one thing that you're grateful for? So you are blessed. Inner peace is my bitch. Acceptance better watch out. I'm coming for it next. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's, uh, that, that read was a bit different. Right, so I need to leave that one there. That is what I have for you, Libra. If you would like to book a private reading that is more catered towards your specific needs, then the, uh, then the link to do so. Um, yeah, you can just visit phoenixkiataro.com and make your book in it. It's as simple as that. So uh, yeah, thank you so much to everybody who has liked, shared, subscribed and supported my channel. 
honestly, it means the world to me. And it does genuinely help to get the messages out to everyone else who's needing to hear it as well. Okay. And also thank you for the um, nice community that, that we seem to be building up on this channel. It's, it's really lovely uh, seeing all these comments of individuals sort of supporting and helping each other as well it's it's really really nice so thank you to those who have contributed into helping to uplift others in the comments it it's amazing to see especially with everything else that's going on in the world as well it's just it's lovely okay so thank you for watching and yeah we shall speak again soon bye